Coming to the next question, here we have a young patient and uh, we are having a history of contact lens use along with the foreign body sensation, red eye, watery discharge. So, what is the most probable diagnosis? So, basically it is a corneal ulcer. We are having a ulcer, we are having foreign body dis uh, sensation, we have redness, we have discharge also and uh, um, it can be corneal ulcer or it can be just the conjunctivitis also because they are not talking about uh, they are not talking about the blurring of vision and along with the contact lens use okay so uh, due to the contact lens what are the things you know the most common infection the most common infection which is associated with the use of contact lenses that is the pseudomonas and um, that is not there in the options. Number two, if I talk about the um, conjunctivitis, the conjunctivitis that occurs due to the contact lenses is the giant papillary conjunctivitis. And if I talk about the keratitis, what is the most common keratitis? That is the canthamoeba. That is the acanthamoeba. So, we are having a corneal abrasion. Corneal abrasion is not the answer. Vernal keratoconjunctivitis is not associated with the contact lens use. This is associated with the allergy. This is your type 1 allergy which is associated with IgE right immediate then we have the giant papillary conjunctivitis and dry eye so dry eye is also not associated with the contact lens user therefore the answer is the giant papillary conjunctivitis therefore answer is giant papillary conjunctivitis now see here the giant papillary conjunctivitis you can confuse with the image you can confuse with the vernal keratoconjunctivitis so how to um, you know find out whether it's a giant papillary conjunctivitis or it's a cobblestone or in the vernal keratoconjunctivitis you get the cobblestone appearance there you get the cobblestone appearance so how to find out so always remember that if it is a giant papillary conjunctivitis this will be localized while in the uh, vernal keratoconjunctivitis this is going to be diffuse then apart from this the causes will also be different if it is a vernal keratoconjunctivitis you will get a young patient type 1 you will have exogenous allergy you will also have horner trenter spots you will also have the shield ulcers while if it is a giant papillary conjunctivitis one of the papillae will be very very large giant means more than 0.3 mm if you are getting the size more than 0.3 then this is a giant papillary conjunctivitis and very very common see it is very very commonly associated with the contact lenses now if you remember there was a gt question also that which contact lens is more commonly associated with the contact lens so always remember that it's a soft contact lens which is more commonly associated in comparison to the hard contact lens apart from this okay apart from this what are the other causes we can have trauma we can have trauma we can have any sutures and we can have the ocular prosthesis so it is the localized hypersensitivity reaction to the contact lenses to the prosthesis to the sutures that is giving the papillae more than 0.3 therefore answer is clearly clearly giant papillary conjunctivitis so you know before answering even if you are confused on the image, you will get so many things by which you can easily remember that whether it is GPC or it is the VKC because VKC you will get in hot and humid climate, you are going to get ropey discharge, then you are going to get the other signs also. Okay, so don't get confused.